Laudator Jesus Christus, praised be Jesus Christ, and welcome to this live broadcast of Holy Mass. On this Thursday morning, the Feast of St. Joseph, this Mass will be celebrated here in the chapel of the Casa Santa Marta, and Pope Francis will be celebrating this Mass. A warm welcome to all of you joining us throughout the world, especially those who may be joining us through the Vatican Media and Vatican News platforms. And also a warm welcome to all of you joining us through EWTN and any other radio, internet site, or television station that may be picking us up this morning. Our Holy Father began allowing this Mass to be televised last week in an effort to draw near to all those who are suffering from the current coronavirus epidemic, now a pandemic, which first locked down Italy and is now having the same consequences in other countries throughout the world. Today we join in thanking God for St. Joseph the man that he chose to be the guardian of the Holy Family and especially of his own son. It's been said that not only was he the guardian, but he was also the person on earth who formed in Jesus the idea of fatherhood, of paternity, and therefore reflected for the Son of God on earth in a very real way, his own Father in heaven. It said that Jesus learned to die having accompanied his own Father in death. And so we see in Jesus' death on the cross something that he most likely would have learned from St. Joseph, this silent man who accompanied his family in the shadow, who listened to the voice of the Lord continually directing him to keep his son safe. The person who provided for his family, the patron of the Universal Church, patron of fathers, here in Italy, for example, this is Father's Day. We pray for all these men, fathers, that they might learn from St. Joseph how to be guardians of their family, how to be the one who interprets God's will along with their wife for their family. Our Holy Father has now entered the chapel he is venerating the altar, and we will now hear his prayer intention for this morning's liturgy. Preghiamo oggi we pray per today for the brothers carcere, and sisters who are in prison. Loro soffrono tanto. They suffer a lot per de che because of the uncertainty of what's happening within e the prison and also famiglie thinking of their families, how are they, some of them are ill, Do they, are they lacking anything, do they need anything? Let's be near the in prison today who are suffering a lot during this time of uncertainty and pain. Behold a faithful and prudent steward whom the Lord set over his household. La grazia del Signore nostro Gesù Cristo, l'amore di Dio Padre e la comunione dello Spirito Santo sia con tutti voi. E con il tuo Spirito. Fratelli, per celebrare degnamente i santi misteri, riconosciamo i nostri peccati. Pope Francis invoked the Trinitarian formula and we are now reflecting on our sins. Signori, 
che non sei venuto a condannare, ma a perdonare. Abbi pietà di noi. Lord, have mercy. Cristo, che fai festa per ogni peccatore pentito, abbi pietà di noi. Christ, have mercy. Signore, che perdoni molto a chi molto ama, abbi pietà di noi. Christ, have mercy. Dio Onnipotente, abbia misericordia di noi. Perdoni i nostri peccati e ci conduca alla vita eterna. Amen. Gloria a Dio nell'alto dei cieli. E pace in terra e in uomini. Oh, Lord. Noi ti rendiamo, ti glorifichiamo, ti rendiamo a grazia. Glory to God in the highest and on earth. Peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O oh God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Dio Onnipotente, che hai voluto affidare gli inizi della nostra redenzione alla custodia premurosa di San Giuseppe. Grant, we pray, God, that by St. Joseph's intercession, your church may constantly watch over the unfolding of the mysteries of human salvation, whose beginnings you entrusted to his faithful care. Dio, che regna con te nell'unità dello Spirito Santo per tutti i secoli dei secoli. Amen. We will now hear the proclamation from the second book of Samuel. Dal secondo libro di Samuele. In quei giorni fu rivolta a Nathan questa parola del Signore. Va e di al mio servo Davide. Così dice il Signore. The Lord spoke to Nathan and said, Go, tell my servant David, when your time comes and you rest with your ancestors, I will raise up your heir after you, sprung from your loins, and I will make his kingdom firm. It is he who shall build a house for my name, and I will make his royal throne firm forever. I will be a father to him, and he shall be a son to me. Your house and your kingdom shall endure forever before me. Your throne shall stand firm forever. In eterno durerà la sua discendenza. The son of David will live forever. Canterò in eterno l'amore del Signore. The promises of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, My kindness is established forever. In heaven you have confirmed your faithfulness. Ho stretto un'alleanza con il mio eletto. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David, my servant, forever will I confirm your posterity and establish your throne for all generations. Egli mi invocherà. Tu sei mio padre. He shall say of me, You are my father, my God the rock, my Savior. Forever I will maintain my kindness toward him, and my covenant with him stands firm. Bea 
Beato chi abita nella tua casa, Signore, senza fine canta le tue lodi. Noi ti lodiamo e ti benediciamo. We prepare ourselves to hear the Gospel proclamation from the Gospel of Matthew. Blessed are those who dwell in your house, O Lord. They never cease to praise you. Il Signore sia con voi. Dal Vangelo secondo Matteo. Giacobbe generò Giuseppe, lo sposo di Maria, dalla quale è nato Gesù, chiamato Cristo. Jacob was the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary. Of her was born Jesus, who is called the Christ. Now, this is how the birth of Jesus came about. When his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention when, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home. For it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. Quando si destò dal sonno, Giuseppe fece come gli aveva ordinato. When Joseph awoke, he did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him. Parola del Signore. And he took his wife into his home. We will now hear Pope Francis homily. Vangelo ci dice che Giuseppe era giusto. The Gospel tells us that Joseph was a just man. Un uomo di fede. He was a man of faith. Che viveva la fede. He lived the faith. Un uomo che può essere elencato nella lista a man who was also found among the list of the people of faith that we recalled today in the Office of Readings. That people who lived the faith as the foundation of what they hoped for, as the guarantee of what they did not see, the proof Giuseppe they did not see. And Joseph is a man of faith. Per era and because of this, he was credeva, just, not only because he believed, but fede. also because he lived that faith. He was a just man. È stato eletto he was chosen per to educate un uomo che era uomo vero, a man who was true man, but who was also God. Ci voleva un uomo Dio per educare un uomo così, ma non c'era. Um, only God could have educated, who have stepped in to take this role, but uh, there wasn't anyone like this. A uh, just man was needed, a man of faith, a man who was capable of being a man. And also capable of speaking with God, of entering into God's mystery. È stata la vita di Giuseppe. This was Joseph's life. Vivere la sua professione. To live his profession. La sua vita di uomo. His life as a man. E 
entrar en el misterio. And to enter into the mystery. Un hombre capaz a man de parlare col mistero, di capable of, col mistero, of dialoguing di with the mystery of, of being active. He wasn't just a dreamer. Nel He entered into the mystery con la with the same con che naturalness with which he with which he did his professional work, with his, the pre precision of his work, he was able to he was able to adjust an angle precisely with his work. He's speaking of his carpentry. He, he was able to to sand down even just a millimeter of wood. But he, he was very precise. And he was also able to enter into the mystery that he was not in control of. This is Joseph's holiness. To go forward with his life and his job with professionality in a professional way. And at the same time to enter into the mystery when the gospel talks about the about Joseph's dreams, it helps us understand this, that he entered into the mystery. I think of the church today on this solemnity of Saint Joseph. Our faith, the members of the faithful, our bishops, our priests, consecrated men and women, fathers, who are capable of entering into the mystery. Oh no, he asked the question, are they able of entering into the mystery or do they need to control the regulations? in order to control what they can't regulate? Do they need to be in control, in other words? And that in this way, the church loses the ability of entering into the mystery of worshiping, of adoring, the prayer of adoration only happens when one enters into, the, into God's mystery. Let's ask the Lord for the grace that the church might live in the concreteness of everyday life and also in the concreteness, quote unquote, of the mystery. If it can't do this, it will be half a church. It will be an association, a pious association, brought forward by rules and regulations, but without a sense of adoration. To enter into the mystery is not about dreaming. Entering into the mystery is precisely this, adoration. Entering into the mystery is doing today what we will do in the future when we will have arrived in God's presence, adore. May the Lord grant his church this grace. We bring these words of our Holy Father's homily with us as we now move into the Credo offertory, or we pray the creed. Padre Onipotent, creatore del cielo e della terra. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, 
true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered, died, and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We now offer ourselves at this moment, along with the bread and wine our Holy Father is now offering. Benedetto sei tu, Signore, Dio dell'universo. Dalla tua bontà abbiamo ricevuto questo pane, frutto della terra del lavoro dell'uomo. Lo presentiamo a te perché diventi per noi cibo di vita eterna. Blessed be God forever. Benedetto sei tu, Signore, Dio dell'universo. Dalla tua bontà abbiamo ricevuto questo vino, frutto della vita e del lavoro dell'uomo. Lo presentiamo a te perché diventi per noi bevanda di salvezza. Benedetto, blessed be God forever. Pregate, fratelli, perché il mio e il vostro sacrificio sia gradito a Dio Padre Onnipotente. Il Signore riceva dalle tue mani questo sacrificio, a onore e gloria del suo nome, per il bene nostro e di tutta la sua santa Chiesa. Accogli, o oh Padre, il nostro servizio sacerdotale. We pray, O Lord, that just as St. Joseph served with loving care your only begotten Son, born of the Virgin Mary, so we may be worthy to minister with a pure heart at your altar. Signore sia con voi, e con il tuo spirito, in alto i nostri cuori. Solo rivolti al Signore, rendiamo grazie al Signore nostro Dio. E cosa buona e giusta, e veramente cosa buona e giusta, il nostro dovere e fonte di salvezza, rendere grazie sempre in ogni luogo a te, Signore, Padre Santo, Dio Onipotente ed Eterno. Noi ti lodiamo, ti benediciamo, ti glorifichiamo nella solennità di San Giuseppe. Egli, uomo giusto, da te fu prescelto come sposo di Maria, Vergine e Madre di Dio. Servo For this just man was given by you as spouse to the Virgin Mother of God, and set as a wise and faithful servant in charge of your household, to watch like a father over your only begotten Son, who was conceived by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, our Lord Jesus Christ. A te il nostro canto e proclamiamo insieme la tua gloria. Santo, 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 Gloria tua, o Santo, in Yeah. 
Padre veramente santo, fonte di ogni santità, santifica questi doni con l'effusione del tuo Spirito, perché diventino per noi il corpo e il sangue di Gesù Cristo nostro Signore. Egli, offrendosi liberamente alla sua passione, prese il pane e rese grazie, lo spezzò, lo diede ai suoi discepoli e disse «Prendete e mangiatene tutti, questo è il mio corpo, offerto in sacrificio per voi». O oh Lord, my Lord and my God, Con la cena, allo stesso modo, prese il calice e rese grazie. Lo diede ai suoi discepoli e disse, prendete e bevetene tutti. Questo è il calice del mio sangue, per la nuova ed eterna alleanza, versato per voi e per tutti, in remissione dei peccati. Fate questo in memoria di me. My Lord and my God, we adore you with all the angels and saints. Mistero della fede. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and confess your resurrection until you come again. Celebrando il memoriale della morte e resurrezione del tuo figlio, ti offriamo, Padre, il pane della vita e il calice della salvezza, e ti rendiamo grazie per averci ammessi alla tua presenza a compiere il servizio sacerdotale. Ti preghiamo umilmente per la comunione al corpo e al sangue di Cristo, lo Spirito Santo ci riunisca in un solo corpo. Ricordati, Padre, della tua Chiesa, diffusa su tutta la terra. Rendila perfetta nell'amore e l'unione con il nostro Vescovo Papa Francesco e tutto l'ordine sacerdotale. Ricordati dei nostri fratelli che si sono addormentati nella speranza della risurrezione e di tutti i defunti che si affidano alla tua clemenza. Ammettili a godere la luce del tuo mondo. Di noi tutti abbi misericordia, donaci di aver parte alla vita eterna, insieme con la Beata Maria, Vergine e Madre di Dio, con San Giuseppe, suo sposo, con gli Apostoli e tutti i Santi che in ogni tempo ti furono graditi e in Gesù Cristo, tuo Figlio, canteremo la tua gloria per Cristo, con Cristo e in Cristo a te Dio Padre onnipotente nell'unità dello Spirito Santo ogni onore e gloria per tutti i secoli dei secoli Amen We will now be invited to pray the Lord's Prayer Obedienti alla parola del Salvatore e formati al suo divino insegnamento, osiamo dire Padre nostro che sei nei cieli, sia santificato il tuo nome, venga il tuo regno, sia fatta la tua volontà, come in cielo così. Dacci oggi il nostro pane quotidiano e rimetti a noi il nostro regno come noi li rimettiamo ai nostri debitori, e non ci indurre in tentazione, ma liberaci da noi. Liberaci, oh Signore, da tutti i mali, concedi la pace ai nostri giorni, e con l'aiuto della Tua misericordia vivremo sempre liberi dal peccato, e sicuri da ogni problema, una testa che si compia la vera speranza, e venga il nostro Salvatore Gesù Cristo. 
our tu Lord and Savior. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. We're now reminded of Jesus' words, peace I leave you, peace I give you. Ma la fede della tua chiesa e dona le unità e pace secondo la tua volontà. Tu che vi rei nei secoli dei secoli. Amen. La pace del Signore sia sempre con voi. E con il tuo spirito. Scambiatevi un segno di pace. We share the Lord's peace now. And invoke the Lord, the Lamb of God. invitati alla cena del Signore. Ecco l'agnello di Dio che toglie i peccati del mondo. O oh, Signore, non sono degno di partecipare alla tua messa, ma di soltanto una parola e io sarò salvato. As we see our Holy Father, Receiving Holy Communion, we pray with him, O Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Our Holy Father included in his homily today Tutti coloro che sono lontani All of those who are far away and who follow la messa per televisione the mass via television a fare I la comunione spirituale ai tuoi piedi o oh mio Gesù mi prostro e ti offro il pentimento del mio cuore contrito che si abissa nel suo nulla e nella tua santa presenza ti adoro nel sacramento del tuo amore desidero riceverti nella povera dimora che ti offre il mio cuore in attesa della felicità della comunione sacramentale, voglio possederti in spirito. Vieni a me, o oh mio Gesù, che io venga da te. Possa il tuo amore infiammare tutto il mio essere per la vita e per la morte. Credo in te, spero in te, ti amo. Così sia. Holy Father leading us in a prayer. Of spiritual communion. As those here present receive communion. We heard in his homily our Holy Father referring to the office of readings. For those of you who also may not be able to get out at this time in various parts of the world, this may be a moment when you might be able to pray the Liturgy of the Hours, which can now also be found online. It's a wonderful way to unite ourselves to the prayer of the Church. The reading he was referring to from the book of Hebrews, the letter to the Hebrews, 
in which the fathers of faith were mentioned, Abel who offered a sacrifice, Enoch taken away without dying, Noah, Abraham, Sarah. They were searching for a better home, a heavenly home, the letter to the Hebrew says. He prepared a city for them. We now gaze on our Lord here present in the Blessed Sacrament. Our Holy Father added this period of adoration the day before yesterday. We are here via television, internet, radio, all of us united in adoration. Our Lord entering wherever we are in our daily life, accompanying us. Jesus, today's adoration is the meeting of my soul and all of my being with you. I am the creature meeting my creator, the disciple before the divine teacher, the patient with the doctor of souls, I am the poor one, appealing to the rich one. I am thirsty, coming to drink at the font. I am the weak one before the Almighty. I am tempted. I seek a sure refuge. I am blind. I search for your light. I am the friend who goes to the true friend. I am the lost sheep sought by the Good Shepherd. I am the wayward heart. I find the way in you. I am the unenlightened. I find wisdom in you. Along with all my brothers and sisters in the church, I am the bride, who like the woman beside the well, find the spouse of my soul. I am the nothing who finds everything. I am the afflicted who finds the consoler. I am the seeker here before you. I find my life's meaning. Today, Jesus, you give us the model of St. Joseph, your foster father, the one who accompanied you, 
the one you sought to imitate. He taught you how to walk. He bathed you. He brought you to the temple where you began to understand your vocation. Today the Gospel tells us the story about how he found out about your birth. He must have been extremely hurt before the angel explained how Mary had become pregnant. Probably the most awful pain a man can feel on this earth. I can only imagine the anguish that he felt during that time. And yet, As we heard our Holy Father explain, being a just man, he always sought to enter into the mystery, seeking God's enlightenment before making a decision. He allowed himself to be guided by the Lord and in this he is righteous. We ask you, Lord, for the grace as our Holy Father suggested in his homily of entering into the mystery. The grace as St. Joseph did of not taking everything under, our, not taking control of everything. If he had done that, imagine, imagine. The law said that Mary should have been stoned. Imagine if Joseph had carried out that prescription of the law. And we pray. Proteggi sempre la tua famiglia, Signore. Defend with unfailing protection, O Lord, we pray, the family you have nourished with food from this altar as they rejoice at the solemnity of St. Joseph and graciously keep safe your gifts among them. We prepare ourselves now for a benediction. We bless ourselves and say, O Sacrament, most holy, O Sacrament, divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. The Blessed Sacrament now being reposed once again in the tabernacle. Our Holy Father again pausing in prayer. Non 
And our Holy Father concludes the liturgy. This now brings to a conclusion the live broadcast of this liturgy celebrated on the Solemnity of St. Joseph. Father celebrating this Mass today at the Casa Santa Marta. I invite all of you to go hear this homily once again. You can hear it at www.vaticannews.va. It can also be found through our Facebook and Twitter accounts. Let us go forth today with Saint Joseph, the foster father of Jesus, as our model. Laudator Jesus Christus, praised be Jesus Christ.